So how do you recover the highlights when you have no data to recover from? So right here, even if you go to filter and then camera raw filter, no matter how much we try decreasing the exposure or decreasing the highlights all the way to the left hand side, all we see is a blob no details. Your first step should always be trying Camera Raw or Lightroom to get the details back and preferably work with a raw photo. If none of that works, this is the video for you. The first thing we need to do is to target the areas where we want the details back. For it, let's go to Select and Color Range. Now in here, what do we want to select? We want to select the highlights. So in the Select drop down, choose Highlights. Photoshop is easy, we just have to understand the concepts. Now. Let us choose the selection preview to black matte. So right now, whatever is selected will be shown and whatever is not selected will be in black. So decrease the fuzziness all the way to the left hand side and slowly and gradually increase the range just so that only the areas where you want the details shows. So I'm going to take it all the way to the right hand side for this particular image. Right now, only the areas where the details are completely blown out are shown. But there is a problem with that. The selection is very, very harsh. So to make the transition between areas that are selected and the areas that are not selected smoother, we need to increase the fuzziness. Let's keep it at about, what do you say, 10? That looks nice. Hit OK. Now there's another problem with the selection. There are other areas of the image that are selected, which are also the highlights, where we don't want any recovery per se. So for it, select the lasso tool right here, hold shift and option together on a Mac, shift and alt in Windows, the lasso with a cross will show up. Right now, only the intersecting selections will be activated. So right now, if I make a selection like this, the rest of the selections will go away outside of this boundary. Make sense? No? Let me demonstrate. So here is a selection, just like this. If we hold the Shift key and the Option key, Shift and Alt on Windows, and make a selection here, only the intersecting selection will be active. And that's what we did right about here. Now, how do you get the details where there is no data? You get the data or the details from somewhere else. There are two ways to do it. If you had asked me how to do it a year ago, I would have suggested to look for stock photos of men wearing white shirt and try to mix and match and composite that. Bring out that area from that image, bring it right here. For that, you have to find images with similar lighting and different conditions. It would be a tedious process. But right now, the second way is with Photoshop 2024 and with this new feature, you can easily do it with Generative Fill. By the way, if you want to do it manually, I also have a video about it. If you're using an older version of Photoshop or uh, a special version of Photoshop, you can follow along with this tutorial. But for right now, if you're not seeing the contextual taskbar, you want to make sure you go to Window and Contextual Taskbar should be checked. And click on Generate a Fill right here. You can type in white shirt, white t-shirt or something else right here. It's up to you. And click on Generate. I'm going to leave it blank. Now do keep in mind the story does not end here. It perfectly will not match. We have to do some adjustments. This is nice. Actually, all of them are nice. Let us try a couple more times. Now this looks pretty good, but there are a couple of issues with it. Number one, it is tampering with the edge. So here is the before. Have a look at the edge. It is changing that. So it's overall changing the shape of the body. And number two, it is changing the dimension right here as well, thus changing the shape of the body. And we are not getting the original crease back. So how do we maintain the originality and also get the details back where we want them? Select the mask right here, select the brush with black as the foreground color. Make sure it is a soft round brush, slowly and gradually paint around the edges, just like this. Now, how do we get the dimension back? This, my friend, is already a highlight area. So whatever we do, we are just darkening it. So why not take the help of blend modes? And what is the blend mode that darkens with the smoothest gradient? Multiply. Now, this looks pretty amazing. So here's the before. See, it takes away the old dimension. And here is the after. The old dimensions come back. But there's a problem. It also darkens some other areas. So let's select the mask and erase the extras. Now there's another problem. It's darkening the dark areas way too much. So how do we control that? Blend if. Let's take it away from the dark areas. So double click on the right hand side of this layer and take it away from the dark areas of the underlying layer or the layer that lies under it. For it, take the slider of the underlying layer from left to right. Of course, this is going to be very, very harsh as you can see. So hold the Alt key or the Option key, click on the slider to break it apart and take it all apart. Hit OK. But we still have some issues right here. So how do we fix that? With 
the mask. So select the mask right there, take the brush, this time with white as the foreground color. If you want to bring back some of those areas, just paint. There you go, they're back. And just like that, we have all the improvement that we needed. And right now, if any of these lines bother you right here, you can easily fix that with the remove tool. You can create a new layer at the top, select the remove tool right here, and you wanna make sure sample all layers is checked, and then you can easily remove this line if you wanted to. And you can go on and on from right here, but that was the basic principle. Also, I would recommend creating a curves adjustment layer and decreasing the overall exposure right here. That is nice. There you go. If the shirt is looking too blue, you can use hue saturation, take down the saturation and just select the mask, press Ctrl or Command I, take the brush, white as the foreground color and just paint over these areas. You get the gist of it. You can use Photoshop's traditional techniques to improve it further. But that's basically how to get the details back where there is no detail. The idea is to first of all target the brightest areas, use generator fill to get the details back there, and then use masking techniques, blend mode techniques, and other traditional Photoshop techniques like hue saturation or curves, and even the remove tool to get it to blend even further. I hope this video helped you and if it did, make sure to give us a like and also don't forget to subscribe and not just subscribe. Ring the bell so that you my friend don't miss any other future tips, tricks, or tutorials. I would like to take this moment to thank all of these nice and amazing people for supporting Piximperfect on Patreon and helping keep Piximperfect free for everybody forever. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next bundle then. Stay tuned and make sure that you keep creating. We're up here on cloud nine.